Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs, and Turnbull Insurance Service present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Elizabeth and Cody watching with Grandma. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. I'm at Tom's Natural Food Store here in Clinton. I'm surrounded by all kinds of natural foods. Throughout our travels, we have found that people nowadays are becoming more and more interested where their food comes from. And as we have so often in the past, we're going to visit another local farm. And I have to tell you this with, about Lance and Sherry. I said that I would never let this happen, but they finally did get my goat. And I'm not kidding. Uh, and as a matter of fact, the show today is going to get a little bit cheesy. So stay tuned to find out why. See the snow falling down, happy people all around, singing songs of Christmas cheer. Choir sing jingle bells, peace on earth to all is well. Knowing Legendary vocalist Jane Monheit will perform a fundraiser concert talking about jazz. John Piazza Jr. is on trumpet and will host Swing City with Jane Monheit today at 2.30 at the other side in South Utica. Tickets are $20. Tis the season to visit Bleecker Street in East Utica and our friends at Cafe Caruso. The store's windows sparkle with colorful holiday decorations. And if you had a Roma television, you'd be down here quicker than I can say pit, pit and cu pits and cues. It's busy, thank God, it's busy. We do, right now we're doing the beets and cues, which are the, well, Michael will explain it to you later. We did the honey balls the other day, which are the little pinolatas, our little delicacy that's a, a traditional Italian Christmas dessert. And our cookies and pastries are pretty basic. We don't change that a lot during the holidays, but the volume changes. And the younger people are starting. The, the, the offspring of our original customers and the grandchildren, Luckily, they know that this is something that you can't get anyplace else. So they come back for the holidays because their families are still here. So it's, it's kind of nice. We're seeing a whole nother generation and because we're on the internet and that's a whole nother market. So we're, we're good, we're, you know, we're trying. We're trying to keep up. <laughs> this particular dessert, um, I've, I've been doing it for about 31 years. Um, it's, I have to make the dough the day before because it has to set. Um, you can't make it and use it, you know, the, the same day. Um, and then the next day, put honey, nuts, raisins, um, cinnamon. You have to roll them uh, and you have to make sure you don't roll them too tight uh, because when you put the honey on, <clears throat> after you take them out of the oven, it won't penetrate the, uh, the pastry. It's only Christmas time. Um, it's popular. I think they're, they're, they're awesome. Nuts, honey, and raisins. How could you go wrong? If you've been inspired to try and bake some pizza and cues yourself at home and have some extra time on your hands, Carmela has shared their old Italian recipe, which is very rarely written down. You can visit our website or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 30 Kellogg Street in Clinton. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11.35 p.m. on WKTV. And check out what's new on MohawkValleyLiving.com. Later in the show, sharing the Adirondacks this holiday season with the readers in your family. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs is your Ford store and your local dealer for Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. You'll find a dedicated sales team ready to serve you and help you find the right vehicle to fit your style and budget. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Now you're thinking smart. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Rothwell. Come on into the Paris Hill Cat Hospital. It's Sunday afternoon, but we are open and ready for your cat. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment, and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? 
Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We are open every day because we know that your cat can become ill any time of the week. The Parasol Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Alex and Nika Restaurant in the heart of Cooperstown. Come in and relax. Fabulous cocktails and eclectic cuisine with something for every taste and budget. Our upstairs dining room is available for parties or private dining. Bring family and friends or that special someone. Alex and Nika Restaurant, open every day for lunch and dinner. You'll find treasure around every corner at Cobbler & Company. Twelve rooms filled with gifts from practical to whimsical and a great selection of children's toys, games, and puzzles. It's easy to wrap up all your holiday shopping at Cobbler & Company in historic downtown Sharon Springs. Give your tongue a twist at the Black Cat Cafe. Great coffee, fabulous baked goods, and delicious breakfast, lunch, and afternoon teas. Open Thursday through Monday and online at blackcat-ny.com. The cat's got your tongue. The Black Cat Cafe in Sharon Springs. Spa services have returned to historic Sharon Springs. Modern spa amenities with old world hospitality. Give the gift of wellness. Available instantly at springhousespa.com. Along so far to help each other along Well, we all share something special here in this valley that's our home Just as sure as the Mohawk rolls along I'll never be alone Making this family my home I'm so proud to call it my home It's not what you take The Kirk Art Center in Clinton presents Local Arts. An annual tradition for us and many others this time of year is to visit the Fenimore Art Museum in Cooperstown. The museum has been decorated for the holidays by the Lake and Valley Garden Club. The current exhibits and the permanent collection are on display through the end of the year. This is the 8th Contemporary Iroquois Art Biennial. Obviously we have it every two years. It's always curated by G. Peter Jemison who is the director of Ganondagon Historical Site here in New York. This year it's the um, Four Artists Under 30 exhibition and what Peter did is select four young women all under the age of 30 and they have all studied at the Rochester Institute of Technology. Um, a few of them are recent graduates and one of them is still in school there. And he's looked at how contemporary Iroquois artists are interpreting their heritage through many different mediums, including pastels and pottery and canvases. Um, women is a very important theme since all of these artists are women themselves. Uh, recreation of life, we have some, uh, um, some pottery that was made to look like uh, pregnant women. Um, we have portraits of women. And um, some other themes would be um, celestial themes that you see uh, recurrent throughout Iroquois heritage. They bring new and unique perspectives to their heritage. They're, they're all extremely interested in the cultural heritage of the Iroquois people, um, but they have their own unique modern experiences that they can include in their interpretations of that heritage. These paintings are by Awaniho Paulus, and these are unique because she creates them by dancing on them. She lays the canvases on the floor, and she listens to traditional Iroquois music on headphones, and then she steps in paint, and then steps on the canvases, and dances traditional dances on the canvases. And then she creates different um, imagery based on her footprints on those canvases. Visit the Fenimore Art Museum for the 8th Contemporary Iroquois Art Biennial through December 31st. Also on display are two major exhibitions featuring folk art and quilts, and the permanent thaw collection of American Indian art. The museum is open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 to 4. The weekly Adirondack, the news voice of Old Forge, presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. We're at Old Forge Hardware here in the Adirondacks, and we're going to step inside to the bookstore where we're going to take a look at some of the brand new, unique, and regional books that you might consider for gifts for that book lover in your family. The Adirondacks has inspired many writers over the years, and uh, we're going to look at a few of the fresh offerings uh, in the genre. 
Uh, these are some nonfiction books for the outdoor enthusiast in the family. Uh, Hiking in the Adirondacks with Lisa Densmore. This is a great comprehensive uh, book of hikes you can find throughout the park. And she also has put out a more recent volume, uh, Best Easy Hikes in the Adirondacks, uh, for some shorter, more modest hikes. Uh, coffee table books, usually when you think of a coffee table book, you think that's going to cost an arm and a leg and it's going to take up a lot of room on table where it's displayed. But about five years ago, the publishers started to come out with these kind of smaller coffee table books that you can hold in your hand, doesn't take up a lot of space, they're reasonably priced. And we have a number of them here um, by the premier photographers in the Adirondacks. Uh, this one is by Mark Bowie, uh, the Adirondacks, and uh, um, Eric Dresser, uh, who's great with wildlife. And I, I, as I went through this book myself, I thought, especially like with the kids, this is almost like having a wildlife guidebook as well as just a beautiful book to look at of the wildlife that you find in the Adirondacks. Uh, Carl Heilman, well, well known photographer in the Adirondacks. Here's a small coffee table book, but you can see um, you know, what, a, what a great size that is. Um, and then also uh, Nathan Farb. Now you look at this and you think, okay, that's a traditional coffee table book. It's really, really large. Um, it's probably really expensive. Well, the publisher just recently reduced the price of this book from like $55 to $20. And that's the price point for this book, anywhere you're going to find it. So Nathan Farb, another uh, tremendous photographer of the Adirondacks, all of these photographers will be on display at VIEW, which is the new art center uh, here in Old Forge, and their books will also be available. And then we have this brand new book just this year by the national award-winning author Louise Gaylord, who actually summers here uh, in the Adirondacks. And she set Dark Lake and Alley Armington Mystery uh, right along the Fulton Chain of Lakes. So consider sharing the Adirondacks with the readers in your family this holiday season and add some pages to their Adirondack journals. The automobile has gone through many changes through the years, but the Turnbull family's commitment to local drivers has not. Researching and selecting the best coverage for you with unparalleled service, claims handling, and settlement. Turn to a local company with four generations of knowledge and experience. Turn to Turnbull. Trenton Tees specializes in only premium quality tees. Choose from nearly 100 different tees, tea accessories, scone mixes, and gift baskets. Make your reservations for a Christmas high tea on December 17th. Call 797-2181. Shop shelter for one-of-a-kind handmade gifts unlike anything you'll find elsewhere. Jewelry of sterling silver with inlaid stones and fossils. Adirondack frames, mirrors, and rustic furniture. And custom furniture built to your specifications. Shelter, Main Street Old Forge. The Village Hall Gallery in Sharon Springs presents the works of over two dozen local artists and now features beautiful Thistle Hill weavings. The Village Hall Gallery in downtown Sharon Springs. Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. Visit Maria's Pasta Shop for Italian gift baskets and be sure to order your holiday party trays. Impress your friends and family with homemade pasta from Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. Where can you find fair trade local and organic gifts like Dean's Beans coffee, fresh bulk almonds and cashews, and hand-dipped candles and local pottery? Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Don't let a special diet keep you from enjoying the taste of the season. The Dessert Booth has vegan, gluten-free, and other food allergy treats. Call ahead for special orders. The Dessert Booth in Clinton. Warm up with a hot bowl of homemade soup at the Blue Dragon Cafe. Try Savory Harvest Moon or West African Peanut Soup. And don't forget their gluten-free breads and desserts at the Blue Dragon Cafe in Clayville. Meelan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib, and be sure to pre-order your fresh seafood and shrimp platters. Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Welcome to Krugerrand Farms. Where the does are strong, the bucks are good looking, and the kids are above average. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley, we're going on a road trip. Go on along, pack up the family. The village it's of Barneveld will be glowing with luminaries this evening, inviting you to the Unity Hall open house at 4.30. This free event features a visit from Santa, music at 5.30, and a potluck dinner to follow. Bring a dish to share, place setting and beverage, today at 4.30 at Unity Hall in Barneveld. 
It's time for the Skinner Auto Group Road Trip. We're actually in Richfield Springs this week, Skinner Auto Group's hometown since 1945. Roger grew up in the business and has known many of his customers all of his life. Here we are in Richfield Springs, located at the intersection of Route 28 and historic U.S. Highway 20. The village of Richfield Springs was established in 1861, making this year their sesquicentennial. And since our last visit, the bandstand has been restored and there's a new Richfield Springs Museum. Uh, it was settled first by the Indians who found the springs and they called it the Stinking Waters. That was the name they introduced as Gowangas. Then uh, later on they branched out and settlers came after the Revolutionary War started to build homes and take property from England. A fellow named John Tunicliffe bought millions and millions of acres around here and that was parceled out to the new inhabitants. Of course, the farms were the ideal thing because the ground was so fertile. It was good for growing all kinds of things. And as the Indians came in their summertime for a resort area, so did the residents here find that people were coming to enjoy the waters, take, taking the waters as they called it and stayed for the summer. So it grew and grew more or less like Topsy grew, and people came. We had seven trains a day coming into town, and they were met by the carriages from the hotels. We had almost 26 lodging places, most of them large hotels, one of which held as many as 500 people. So it was quite a thriving metropolis in its own time. Here we go again, turning my clock back I can remember coming down to Canandaigua Lake. Gosh, this was back in the 19, late 1940s or early 1950s, and skating at the skating rink that was right on the edge of the lake. Nothing compares to it. You'd be skating around to this wonderful music, and there was the lake outside. It was just fantastic. Did you have pom poms on yours? I didn't have pom poms on, <laughs> on my skates. But notice one thing about them: the front wheels would move, so you could kind of steer, I guess, with your toes and the back as well, yeah. It'd be very, very accomplished, or you'd land on your, uh, you know what, quite often, <laughs> which I did. The Richfield Springs Historic Association Museum is located at 134 West Main Street in Richfield Springs. It will be open this Saturday from 10 to 2. We visit the historic Richfield Springs Library on Main Street. It opened 100 years ago in 1911 with money donated by Thomas R. Proctor on land given by Richard Malcolm Montgomery. We meet young library patron Troy. Could we be meeting a future film director? We enjoy visiting post offices on our travels, and here in Richfield Springs, there is a mural on the wall that goes back to the WPA times, and is a beautiful, beautiful painting, and you'll notice that there's a barn up there that's an octagonal barn. Something unique about the barn is the fact that the silo is in the middle of the barn, and it's a baker barn named after Norman Baker, who was very well known in the area. The Baker Octagon Barn is located south of the village on Route 28. It was built in 1882 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. Another historic building in Richfield Springs is the 1840s era carriage barn at Butternut Barn Primitives. When you step inside, the wonderful smell of pine wafts over you. 
Mother and daughter, Judy and Kelly Stone, have created a magical atmosphere and many of the handmade items they have designed themselves. This is an old carriage barn and we started the business 35 years ago in 1977 at the encouragement of family and friends. I, I made things and I taught ceramics at school and just, I always just liked to do things and people kept saying, oh, you should have a shop, you should have a shop, so I did. <laughs> I think it's just like a, a warm, comfortable feeling they get, uh, not like chrome and glass. <laughs> Well, a lot of the pieces that I make are made from reclaimed wood. I take old wood that I find and I design a piece made from the reclaimed wood. If I don't make it from the reclaimed wood, I take new pine wood and I make it look aged with a style that would be similar to an antique piece. I make bigger cabinet pieces and I make cutting boards, old looking boxes, I make ornaments and I make um, different jars with old looking labels and I make early looking candle holders. Nothing sparks the memory like a familiar smell and the fragrance here for me, oh, it takes me back memory wise at least 30 years because we've been coming here for that long. When I came in today it was just like turning the clock back 30 years and it's as wonderful a place today as it was back then. Butternut Barn Primitives is open 10 to 5 daily through December. It is located east of the village of Richfield Springs, just a few yards south of Route 20 on Allen's Lake Road. Another old landmark that is still as hopping busy today as it was in 1954 is the Tally Ho Restaurant. A longtime local favorite, you feel a part of the family almost as soon as you enter. And look who's here, it's Roger and Dan. I guess we came to the right place. Well, it is, it's a, it's a local restaurant and everyone comes here either anywhere from five days a week to seven days a week and they come in and we pretty much know what they want. They don't even have to tell us or what they would like on their for their plate, they just come in and say usual and we just go in and order the usual for them. After Richard makes his rounds about the restaurant, he stops to chat with Roger and I ask Roger what he's up to. Well, we got the holiday toys coming um, where we give away uh, toys. Um, it'll be out of our Herkimer operation and we'll give a probably uh, 16 to 18,000 toys away. In the spirit of giving, Roger has offered to give a $20 gift certificate to anyone who brings in an unwrapped new toy of $10 in value or more. The gift certificate is good for any service in their service department. So if you think that being the host of a television show is easy, it's not because I have to make the tough decisions. For example, I have to go down through this counter and pick out which of these desserts I'm going to have. And you should know that every one of them is homemade as was the bread that I had on my sandwich. So I can tell you, get down here, put yourself through the tough decision-making process yourself. If you come today for breakfast or for lunch with your meal, you'll be treated to a free dessert and look at this. To see what we can see Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Let's see in the rolling hills west of the village, we visit Krugerand Farm, owned by James Andella and his daughter Lisa Miedema. They have a passion for goats and the idea of developing a sustainable farming model, processing goat milk into aged cheese for the artisan cheese market. This is basically a 4-H project that got out of hand. We started out with two little girls and two goats, and uh, by the time they went to college we had 25 and now we've got over 70 head on the farm. Uh, Lisa and I discussed uh, how we were going to maximize profits from, from, the, um, from the herd, and after discussing uh, being a purely uh, dairy operation, we decided to uh, uh, go for value-added products. Uh, we decided we'd have to make cheese. So we make a Dutch-style cheese. 
Well, goat cheese is, uh, is different from cow milk cheese uh, because the milk is, is uh, different in chemical composition. Uh, goat milk is naturally uh, homogenized and uh, the acid uh, profile is quite different. So you end up with sharper, drier cheeses in goat milk than you would normally with, um, with cow milk. Uh, more robust flavors because in a lot of cases, uh, cow milk cheese presents the fat to your tongue uh, uh, much more easily and uh, that, that masks the true flavor of the cheese. That's why a lot of cow milk cheeses are actually made from skim milk. You can find Kruger Rand goat's milk cheese at Jewett's Cheese House in Earlville, Green Earth in Oneonta, Adirondack Cheese Company in Barneveld, and served at Ye Old Landmark Tavern in Bouckville. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner Auto. Check out this 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4. This is a fresh arrival just in time for snow with only 55,000 miles and a great buy at $49.95. Hurry in to Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. The Mohawk Valley has been home to five generations of the Longaretta family. David and Paul, alongside their father, John A. Longaretta, carry on the tradition of protecting your rights in today's courts. The perfect wedding, the perfect retreat, the perfect weekend getaway. The Oneida Community Mansion House, perfect for any occasion. Call 363-0745. The fashions of the season are at the Village Crossing. Colorful sweaters, alpaca scarves and gloves, and jewelry by local artists. Dress up your boots with fun new boot toppers at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden, 339 Bleecker Street in downtown Utica. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited, providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. Off Center Records and Collectibles on Bleecker Street is Utica's only source for new and vintage vinyl. Take a spin to Off Center Records at 116 Bleecker Street in Utica. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 6. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for recipes, articles, blogs, and videos. Visit our new website or find us on Facebook. Thanks for touring with us today. We hope that you enjoyed coming along to Richfield Springs as much as we did. If you would like to learn more about Richfield Springs, then visit our website uh, and find links to the local farms like Krugerrand and uh, all of the local recipes that we picked up today, along with a couple of calories. Tune in again next week, and between now and then, enjoy the tastes and the sights and the aromas of the Mohawk Valley. What it is. Okay.